Representation of lesbian and gay people on television and radio is an important tool for social change. From comedy to drama, to current affairs to light entertainment talk shows to radio broadcasting. Portrayals of gay people have come a long way in the last decade in Ireland. The nominees for media representation of the year include a grandmother who came tragically face to face with injustice and decided to publicly tackle it. A TG Cahar drama that brings lesbian representations into the 21st century and a direct action gay rights group who have racked up plenty of positive TV and radio coverage over the past two years. This award is kindly sponsored by News Talk Radio. Gill. Media representation of the year are Margaret Gill. And LGBT Noise. And the winner is Margaret Gill. And unfortunately, Margaret is in Canada and can't be here with us tonight, but her son and daughter Ken Gill and Sandra Wilson are here to accept the award on her behalf. So, welcome, Ken and Sandra. Thanks for pointing out that I'm not, in fact, Margaret Gill. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, my mother, as Terry just said, is unable to attend because she's on holidays in Canada. As her golden boy, I was conscripted to read this um, if she was lucky enough to win the award. Good evening, all, and thank you very much for this award. I feel honoured, humbled, and absolutely delighted. Thank you. Along with my husband Bill and my family, I would like to congratulate the National Gay and Lesbian Federation on their achievements to date and to wish them continued success. 52 years ago, when, at the ripe old ages of 25 and 21 respectively, Bill and I decided to get married. We weren't doing it for tax reasons, we weren't doing it for inheritance reasons. We weren't even thinking about children. We were in love and just wanted to declare this formally to our family, friends and society in general. Although some, of you, some may have raised an eyebrow due to our youth, we were adults. It was our right to get married and no one dared come between us and our right. Unfortunately, our beloved daughter Barbara conceived on their honeymoon, so you can see what they were thinking about, <laughs> was never to enjoy the privilege of having that right. Barbara, like many young girls and boys, dreamt of growing up, falling in love, and making a public declaration of this love by marrying her partner. Luckily for her, she realized part of that dream. She met her partner, Ruth, and they lived together happily for 13 years and had a beautiful baby boy, Stephen, who was the apple of their eye. As some of you are aware, Barbara died tragically in a cycling accident when Stephen was just two months old. As they were not married, and since new wills had not been finalized due to Stephen's early arrival, Ruth was left with no legal rights to the property that was in Barbara's name. Bill and I were left everything and signing over the property to Ruth and Stephen was going to cost a fortune in taxes. As is often the case, one doesn't consider issues until they knock on your own front door. We had never really thought about the need for gay marriage prior to this. Something had to be done. As a mother and a grandmother, I wanted to protest, sorry, to protect the rights of those I loved. I went on local and national media to shout aloud to all those in power that marriage was a right of all consenting adults and not just the privilege of the likes of Bill and me. The message has not been received and needs further communication. Those who don't understand the seriousness of this human rights issue need to be educated. I am confident that this mission will be successfully executed by the National Gay and Lesbian Federation. I thank you for this award and wish you all a wonderful evening. 